This video will guide you through the assembly process of the Boomer Buggy 5. For this assembly, you will need the following tools. A set of wrenches, box cutter, Allen wrench, tire pressure gauge. The first step is to remove the scooter out of the box. First, use the box cutter to cut the straps on the box. Remove all packaging materials and set the parts for assembly aside. Inside the box, you should find the following. Charger, basket, bumper, mirrors, seat, and safety wheels. After removing it from the box, your scooter should look close to the following. To unfold the steering column, first loosen the knob located at the base of the column. Bring the steering column to an upright position. Tighten the knob at the base of the column. Fasten the basket into place by sliding it into the mount. To install the front bumper, unfasten the nuts and remove one washer on both sides. Push the front bumper into place and refasten the washer and nut on both sides. Tighten both nuts with a wrench. You can remove the protective cover on the headlight. Let's now check the battery. Begin by turning the key in the ignition. If your scooter emits a beeping noise with the battery indicator flashing, it means the freewheel lock needs to be engaged. Turn the key to the off position. Locate the red lever near the rear right wheel and press downward. Turn the key to the on position once again. To charge the battery, locate the charger port near the dashboard. Plug the charger to the charger port and the other end into a wall outlet. Make sure that the voltage on the charger is set to 115 volts before charging. Turn the charger on by pressing the switch. Pay attention to the indicator lights. The red light indicates the power and the yellow light indicates that the battery is charging. The yellow light will turn green when the battery is fully charged. The switches for the headlight, tail light, front and rear turn signals are located near the dashboard. Check to make sure that the headlight and turn signals on the front are working. Make sure to check if the rear turn signals are working properly in addition to the brake lights. To install the seat, line up the post with the mount and depress the lever to unlock the post. Push it in the mount. To change the direction of where the seat is facing, press the lever and turn the seat. Unfold the seat, line up the headrests to the slots, and press the button on the left side to allow the rods to slide through. Insert the armrests on the side as shown. Tighten it with the knobs provided. Do the same for the other side. To install the mirrors, simply screw in the mirror to the appropriate side. Tighten the bolt on the top of the stem as well. Tighten the attached nuts with a wrench. Take off the cover and tighten the inner bolt with an Allen wrench. Do the same for the other side. The last part you need to install are the safety wheels. Located near the rear tires, take out the pin on the mounting bar. Insert the safety wheel facing downward and reinsert the pin. Do the same for the other side. Before you ride your scooter, take 60 seconds to perform a quick check. Check the tread on the tires and use a tire pressure gauge to make sure your tires are at 14 psi. Check your brake lights by pressing and releasing the levers. Then check your headlight, tail light, and both front and rear turn signals. Look out for any loose nuts and bolts and tighten them. And lastly, check the battery charge by inspecting the battery indicator on the dashboard. Once you've finished performing the 60 second check, you're ready to go. Remember to always observe the rules on the road. Be safe out there. 